Okay. Velká uh. válka skončila. Jediné, co chci. OK, uh, welcome back. Um, let's continue with uh, last train home. Um, I think I'm planning to uh, manage the train and my my troops for the start of the stream and um, continue a little bit forward down the tracks but um, I'll see um, how much time I'm have, I'll have to play to, for tonight uh, last time, uh, what happened last time um, I started the game and um, we traveled from the We traveled from uh, from the start of the game through Sukinichi uh, uh, through Sukinichi to Moscow, and um, we met our characters, met our main. Uh, Main, um, our main ca characters and uh, got uh, familiar with the gameplay mechanics and the game um, we lost our commander in charge and we were promoted as a leader of the train uh, and yeah uh, let's continue forward. I, I think I would like to, uh, after I leave Moscow, I will stop the train and actually let's do some management on the train and see uh, what kind of um, soldiers I have and uh, what kind of positions they can take. Okay, Maximilian was promoted. Unfortunately, he is getting minus one to his will because he is depressed. Okay, he has one attribute point available and yeah, oh, he has only one attribute point available. I'll decide uh, after I uh, see what kind of uh, enemies, not what kind of enemies, but what kind of um, position he can take to what uh, stats I should be upgrading okay, because he leveled up as a scout he reached level 2, he received the distract action ability and the quick feed passive ability okay Quite a few of my characters, I think, leveled up. And a few of the new guys are... I should try using them to see... and to try to upgrade them fast, so I can use them as soldiers. Okay, Benedric also leveled up as machine gunner and he has the passive ability control burst and the suppressive fire ability Antonin also leveled up he, yeah he also leveled up as a machine gunner and he also had the was one contro uh, the control burst ability and uh, suppressive fire ability Alfred leveled up okay, he leveled up as a scout again distract quick feed I was better I think she is a doctor 
yeah, she's a medic. And she got the passive uh, head down. And I think Dusan should be the last guy who upgraded. No, he did not level up. Um, Okay, where is the... oh, there, this was the button that I was looking for. Okay, so... I have one, two engineers, three engineers. Okay, so I have three possible engineers. Okay, who is good at it? Or, at least, or maybe the more correct way to say it is who is bad at being a soldier so I think Andrish will be one of my, uh, one of my permanent engineers and maybe Camille okay Camille is strong wheeled And Will is good for being a, a Grenadier, so maybe he won't be the guy who will be using. Um, Anti-Sick, I think he's not as good as a Rifleman, so he may be my other... I think he made me my other permanent engineer. And for workers, okay, who are bad as soldiers or don't have the soldier uh, role uh, unlocked. Okay, almost everybody has the soldier role to unlocked. So who are the bad, the bad, the bad, the worst soldiers? Okay, Rostislav is sturdy, but he is clumsy. So plus one fitness, minus one dexterity. Um, Yannick is in the middle, he is just depressed. So when the depressed trait disappears, he may be a good soldier. Um, Better, he's. I think he looks good. He's a thrill seeker, and he's not working very good. And he, but he's charismatic. He's reckless, so he may be good soldier, bad worker. Um, Camila, she's in the middle. She is also reckless and thrill seeker, so she is also a bad worker. Uh, Bartolomei is a doctor. Pavel, 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 he is again in the middle. He is short. Slightly decrease the chance of being hit by an enemy. <laughs> That's also quite good actually. He is thrill seeker, so he is bad worker. He is careless, probably already messed something up. Um, okay, so there are not uh, too many bad soldiers. Oh, okay, uh, Yosef. Okay, I think Yosef might be one of my workers he is uh, a leveled up soldier so leaving him behind might be not good for me 
Phantom is sickly. Is herbalist. Okay, I think he will be needed for the excursions and to seek uh, supplies. Magdalena, yeah, she is a doctor. She will be needed. Alfred, he is slow witted, he is a quad uh, jinxed, but he is a bugger. So he also will be needed in the on the field. I was better, she is a doctor. Uh, Dusan, he is a brawler, aggressive. Loose cannon. Okay, so there are not many bad soldiers. There are a lot of bad workers. Um, hmm. Okay, let's start with the train. So, yeah. Or Jeff or Odrish will be one of the engineers. And did I decide Jan will be the second one? I think. Uh... Okay, Jan, I met who was the second one? The second engineer. Oh, yeah, I think uh, Francis, Francisic. He was supposed to be the other engineer. I think I liked Jan or a soldier. Strong appetite, well natured. Well trained actually. Mm. No, not Jan. Um, Camille. A camel is a good soldier. So, Actually, God damn it! I was, yeah, yeah. On Jack night um, day shift, Frantisek uh, night shift. Okay, yeah, these were the guys that I was, I was, I was, I not don't. Okay, I'm losing my train of thoughts. I'm blabbering. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so the engineers. For some, I for some reason I was thinking, like this is only the day shift, so engineer and worker. This is the night shift, engineer worker, but it's engineers only. On Andrish will be day shift, Frantisek will be night shift. Jan and Rostislav are workers will be the workers. Um, let's see. Will they live as workers? Mm. Okay, dexterity. Mm. So Rostisov, I think, will be a good rifleman, but he will be a slow to reload, and he will be bad at aiming. Mm. Jan requires food more frequently than others. He's well trained and he is caring. Okay. Not bad. Um. Okay, Dominic he is tough. Okay, I think he will be a good soldier as well. 
better. I think he will be also a good soldier. He has good good uh, traits or at least traits that will help me help him in combat. Cameo, I think I'll be need him I'll be needing him for the expeditions. Camilla, she is a soldier. Mm. Bartolome, he will be needed for the excursions. For not excursions, but for the squads and for the expeditions. Mm. Okay, I think Favel it's is a candidate for a worker. Even if he has the probability to not be hit. Maybe uh, some of the other guys are at least for now look a little bit better. Maximilian he will be needed for the expeditions. Um, oh Bedrick, he can be a worker. He's Focused, he's strong willed, he's diligent, okay he's definitely a good candidate for a worker, even if I be losing him as a upgraded character. Yosef, yeah, I think Yosef is also not very good for the uh, soldier position. Or maybe he will be my other worker guy. Magdalena, yes, yeah, she is also will be good for the expeditions. Alfred is good. Alzbeta, it's not. She is not bad, but she will be. He's a good soldier, bad worker. And Dusan, Dusan, Dusan. Hmm. Okay, Dusan, maybe. What kind of is a grenadier? So loose cannon increase the burst count but consumes more ammo. Increase the rate of fire of a weapon but decrease the chance to hit the enemy. Okay, I think he might be one of my soldiers, one of my workers. And I have to choose between Bedrick and Yosef. So Yosef is he is weak and he is clumsy. But Bedrick but Bedrick is diligent worker and he is also focused. So that gives me plus twenty plus twenty five percent work efficiency. Yeah, okay, so I'm thinking so for the day shift it will be um, Bedrick and for the night shift, shift it will be Dusan. This will be my uh, train running te teams. Okay, let's unassign everyone from the first squad. And let's leave them to rest. Okay, I have a capacity. Uh, because this is a new train, Unfortunately, uh, last time 
we lost our super upgraded train with a uh, good locomotive, with a good storage card, with a artillery car added to the uh, to the train, with a hospital card car added to the train. So for the moment we already have a locomotive, a storage cart, and three infantry cars. Um, okay, in the first first car is Maximilian, Bedrick, Josef, Antonin, Magdalena, Alfred. Second car of Beta, Dusan, uh, Frank, Frankisten, Odrich. Rostislav and Jan, and in the final, Dominic, Peter, Camille, Camilla, Bartolomei, and Pavel. Uh, I'll be able to uh, upgrade these cards and to make them better, uh, increase the amount of people that they can live here. I'm not sure how long a train composition can be I'm not sure if I can add artillery car and um, hospital car to this train or maybe I should be uh, removing uh, some of the carts and switching them to others I'll have to see with my on the playthrough as I continue my playthrough. Uh, okay, let's leave the guys to rest for a little bit until I reach like this area around here. And after that, I have, I have some plans that I'll share with you when I come here. Okay, uh, stamina, working, traveling outside the train and conducting uh, and conducting point of interest actions consume soldier stamina work and deployment cost one stamina uh, point per hour while the cost of point of interest action varies if stamina drops to half the soldier will receive the tire status and this will reduce their stats Spending all stamina results in the exhausted status. In this case, the soldier is heavily penal penalized and incapable of any action until they have full stamina again. In addition to rest, consumables are consumables also restore stamina. So that means if you, uh, if some of your character gets the Exhausted status, it will be fucked. Okay, uh, train upgrades. As you sit and watch the horrors of Moscow disappear behind the horizon and ponder over your newly acquired responsibilities, Captain Langer approaches you. Curiosity, uh, curiously, inspect, <coughs> curiously inspecting you with his critical gaze, quite unexpected, unexpectedly, he speaks to you with a soft voice. As you can see, this train lacks a lot. It's, mo it's moving us forward, but won't serve us good. Uh, but it won't serve us long in this shape. Shortly there, shortly there will be more of us than we need. Uh, shortly there will be more of us, and we will need more space, and most import importantly, heat. To accommodate as many soldiers as we can, we should increase the number of living spaces, not to mention there is no heating or insulation. I don't advise cross crossing Siberia 
without heating. The storage card might need to be improved as well. There is a long journey ahead of us and a good supply of resources is of paramount importance. That way we, we might also think about reinforcing the cars. <clears throat> this train is in a daunting shape and we cannot expect the Reds to make the passage easy for us. It's only up to us to make the most of it, so keep that in mind, Major. So yeah, that means upgrade your train. Uh, and uh, upgrade your carts. The locomotive and individual car can be upgraded to improve their functionality or unlock new features. For example, in an upgraded infantry car can accommodate more soldiers while upgrading your locomotive will ensure it runs faster. Open the repairs and upgrades tab of individual cars to see available upgrades and to select those suited to your party style, to your playstyle. Soldiers, the soldier morale is essential. If a soldier has low morale, they are, they are at risk of desert, desertation. If the crew morale, which is average, if the crew morale, which is the average morale of all soldiers on the train, drops to a critical level, the game is over. Morale is lowered by things such as illness and accidents, where, where Whereas it can be raised by arresting or using consumables. Uh, specific statuses influence morale and its recovery. Uh, check soldiers' details for further information. Um, it doesn't say what. What uh, upgrades uh, morale? Okay, I think most of the people are currently on the rise of their morale. I know a way that will rise the morale a lot, but I'm not sure if I should. Oh, actually, it says over here vodka. Full morale replenishes soldiers' morale, but you get hungover. 5% chance uh, per use that soldier gets status, gets the status exhausted. Ooh, that's not good. Or overdose, 1% chance a use that soldier gets a negative train. Uh, stimulants restore, actually uh, restore stamina. But you can get again the overdose um, trait and um, medkit. Medkits can heal your health. Okay, uh, Maximilian, he has a point, one point to four attributes. I think I'll give him one in fitness. Mm, actually, Yeah, let's give him one in fitness so he can he have a little bit more health. He will fitness will upgrade. Also the melee damage, the time to aim, the worker work efficiency for of workers and some combat skills. Yeah, let's give him one point. Um, 
and you won't be working for now. Okay, uh, Antonio, he has one point for attributes. He is a machine gunner. Okay, let's give him also a a point in fitness. Um, Alfred, Alfred. Again, one point in fitness. Yeah, I was better. Okay, she is a doctor, so she needs um, she needs one point in dexterity. It will help her uh, with aim reward time, but will also affect her work as a doctor. Wants to spend. Um, yeah, I think so. Okay, most of the people are raising their morale. Only Alfred, Alfred, yeah, because he's injured. Not in job, but because he is ill, he, his morale does not go upward. Actually, he is losing morale. Um, here, yeah, most of the people are gaining morale. Um, Francis, Francisek. Is not getting morale, I think, because he is currently working, and unfortunately, Dusan is tired. But after the day comes, I think he'll be able to rest. Here, here, I think everybody is gaining morale. Actually, some of the people already think lost the depressed status. to set up two squads uh, for exploration and I will try to assign at least one sur survivalist in a squad and at least one bur burglar in, the, in a squad. I think these two traits will be useful for exploring the places on the map. Okay, let's start with the first one. So, let's try and die on this, the team. It will be Camille. Extra food from forest and lakes. Yeah, I think he will be an important person in one of the squads. He is a grenadier. Okay, also you yeah, have to be careful what kind of what type of soldiers there are. Okay, I think I Berto Bertome will be the second person on the squad. He is a medic. Okay. Uh, Maximilian, he is a hunter. 
more hunter trains more hunter trades in the squad don't multiply has a chance to get extra food from forests and lakes okay okay what was the difference between uh, okay they are the same no has a chance and extra food so one is a chance to get extra food the other is a sure thing that you will be getting uh, extra food okay uh, herbalist again has a chance to get herbs from forest and lakes uh, magdalena she is a housekeeper extra res resources from abandoned settlements Okay, she is also a medic, so maybe she will be in the second team. Um, Alfred, he is a bugworm. Extra resources from abandoned settlements. Okay, you will be the third member of this squad. And... Okay, have a scout, a medic, a grenadier. Okay, who will be? You are also a scout, you are a machine gunner, um, you are a rifleman. Okay, let's give them Rostislav. And who else? Who else? I don't have only a machine gunner. Uh, okay, so the only machine gunner that is free is Jan. So, Jan, you'll be part of this squad. And confirm. And let's make the second squad. So, it will be Maximilian. It will be Antonin. Magdalena. Who should be next? Uh, Patrick, I cannot take you. You will be your worker. Do I have. Should I take Pavel? So let's see what kind of soldiers they are. Scout, machine gunner, and medic. Mm. Okay, let's take Peter. And also let's take... Okay, let's take Pavel. 
That's fine. Um, should I make them more than five people? Okay, how much? How many I have? Currently, I have eighteen people. So I have four workers that will be permanent on the locomotive. I have two squads of ten, of, of five, of ten. So I can add two more, or should I make another squad? Mm. to have three different squad but this squad will probably be used only for fighting hmm. okay uh, no I think I'll make two squads of seven I think this might be a good composition okay. So who will be going in which squad? So I have one more scout, one more rifleman, one uh, grenadier, and one medic. Okay, I don't have grenadier in this unit. So Yosef, you go here. Um, Okay, I was better. Uh, you also go to the this to the second squad. Confirm. And Dominic and Camilla are in the first squad. So the positive traits of this squad is survivalist, burglar, and avaricious. Not good. Okay, avaricious. Not good. Uh, not a good person. But a good Hagward for sure. Grant better prices when uh, trading. Can affect narratives in dialogues. Another effect. Uh, more avaricious traits in the squad don't multiply the effect. Burglar, extra resources from abandoned settlements. Survivalist, extra food from forests and lakes. And the second. Uh, the second squad, Hunter, has a chance to get any extra food from forests and lakes. Uh, herbalist has a chance to get any extra herbs from forests and lakes. Avaricious and Housekeeper. Okay, so one of these squads will be... Oh, actually... I forgot. So these two guys... We'll stay here. You two will stay here. Because the first upgrade that I'll be doing is will, it will be on the locomotive. And it will be a upgrade to the engine, if I remember correctly. Decrease the chance no um uh, Decrease fuel burning speed by 20%. For that I need 100 metal. I have 100 metal. So let's start. And I will assign... Um, Camilla... Um, Joseph... Oh, are the others not?
for the adapter that I kicked off that squad are not workers. Unfortunately, I don't think that they have DevOps. Make them uh, worker as well. Actually, as better has really a point. I can make her a worker for the time being, but okay, maybe I should not. Okay, by the time that the uh, train is repaired, let's send our uh, two squads um, to see what's going on on these two locations. Uh, first squad. Okay, I think second squad will go to the lake. And first squad will uh, go to the uh, Timberland. Okay, let's see what's going on here. So only oh, because I have a hunter, it tells me that I'll be have I have beneficial traits. I don't have survivalists on this team yet, correct? Let's fish, and I'll be fishing for two hours. I'm going to need that squad. Okay, for here, I don't have positive traits. Hmm. Okay. Um, Alfred, report major will find and taken down a few good trees. Seventy-eight of uh, wood, that good, and hundred and fifty combat rowhead speed. Nice. Okay, go back to the train. Okay, the train is upgraded. I need one more, almost an hour and a half more to do the upgrade. The lake was full of fish we found from old nets by the pier. Our main problem was figuring out how to catch and retrieve all the fish. Um, wasn't Maximilian with you? Okay, I'm not uh, disappointed that it's only 22 fish, 22 food, 
but maybe it could have been a little bit better. Okay, go back to the train. Is the train ready? Almost. And maybe by the time they are back, I can continue. Okay, change of shifts. Outrish and Antistech and actually um, Edric are now on shift. So I can um, rest. And Antistech can hope that he can uh, get better in his. Um, Morale. Okay, so we are stopping at Kolomna to see uh, do some kind of events. A local doctor is willing to trick, trick, to treat your sick, your sick and injured for a price. A potential reward is health. The local doctor has offered to treat your sick and injured. However, the doctor can spare time and resources to treat, si to treat serious injuries only. Both factions in the war, no, in the civil war, are aggressively recruiting doctors for their own purposes. So these who are left have no shortage of work. Only soldiers with negative traits and ne uh, with negative status such as injured or ill can be treated. Uh, okay. Um, only Alfred is seriously ill. But I think he's getting better, so... I don't think that I will spend uh, money here. Uh, train composition, locomotive, storage car, infantry, 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 yeah, confirm the composition, merchant, mm, okay, they are selling metal gunpowder, first aid, ki aid kits, ammunition, I think I have more than enough. But maybe two more machine gun ones. With a fifteen. And let's take ten more. Okay, how much is Alfred going to be sick for? How much time? Um, eight hours. Unfortunately, he lost the treated status. So, definitely I'll have to spend the full eight hours before Alfred is ready and full of health again. So, also, I don't need to do anything else in this uh, situation. So, let's continue. Okay, I'm missing some of the uh, villages because there are villages that will be sailing, um, like this one, it will be sailing only herbs or medical things, or like this one, it will be selling food. But they are selling them on ridiculous prices. So for the start being, I think I might uh, not use the uh, not use them. I will be getting near some interesting places 
like this abandoned village. I think I'll be able to grab resources from it. I won't be going to Zariask because again it's very store for food only. Maybe I'll be going to Ikimoka, the forest, the, and this area too is here. But yeah, I think I'll not be buying anything over here for the report. Points of interest. Points of interest are location visible on the map view that can be uh, accessed by your soldiers when traveling into the countryside. Alternatively, they can be um, encountered on the rail railroad in itself. Uh, there are numerous type of points of interest that allow various actions to see what actions are available at a specific site. Click on the point of interest node. Click on the point of interest. Note um, that not all points of interest are visible. Sometimes you can uh, come across them, come across a point of view by chance. Types of points of interest. Mission. So, swords with skulls, a point of interest with a playable mission. It contains information about the difficulty of the mission exposed, exposed, exposed by the number of skulls, the recommended squad size, loot available, and potential rewards. Empty village, here you can find valuable resources uh, if you deploy soldiers with specific traits. You may discover additional supplies. Uh, forest. Forest is a good place for a forage to forage for food. Uh, and yeah, the other centers is a bit itself. If you get people with the same skills, it won't stack. So you have you can spread them out. Uh, hunting grounds, uh, an area where you can hunt for food, timberland, a source of food, a lake, soldiers can fish at lakes for extra food, um, station, train stations where you can trade with merchants selling basic foods, uh, they also um, they also allow changing the train composition. Occasionally, you can find a doctor and pop here, pop there. A depot station sells cars and locomotives. Village with herbalist, a small settlement with a merchant selling herbs and curative items. A villages with local trader, a settlement with a merchant selling mainly consumables. Villager. Village with contraband dealer, small settlement with a merchant selling various consumables. An arms dealer, a small settlement with a with a small with a uh, arms dealer selling weapon and ammunition. Obstruction, an obstruction on the railroad tracks. You have to remove it or run through it. Okay. Unfortunately, these obstacles are uh, at the moment uh, not available. Okay, let's stop and go check out what's going on in Gorodna. Who is going to the? Uh, who is going to this place? So Bogwar and Housekeeper, I have Housekeeper, Extra Resources, or Extra Resources, so both should be the same amount. I think I'll be sending 
who is in better who has better stamina okay first squad has lost a little bit of stamina uh, second squad two of them are already full on stamina okay i think i'll send second squad Potential rewards, food, quad, metal, wood. Maximilian drop, a report, report major, we went through the place, it was empty as it looked from afar, but the owners left behind some things we, we can use. Here's what we found. We found a cellar with coal, which made everyone happy because there is never enough fuel. Was 19 fuel, nice. Go back to the train. Actually, I was thinking also to upgrade one of the carts. Living spaces, I'll be needing 50 foot, 50 wood, 50 quad. I have more than enough of them. Comfortable living. I increase health and morale recovery by one per hour when soldiers are resting in living space. Uh, stoves and insulation at the moment, I don't need them. Reinforced chassis can it as um, metal for it increase the maximum durability of the train car by 200% with by 200 points or sturdy materials decrease the chance of the trait of the train car car malfunctioning okay, this is also a good trait okay for the moment I'll not do that. I have to find more food, more fuel, and other things. Okay, so I think I'll send a squad to Etimovka. While I do that, I'll be waiting them for them in Riazan. Okay, who will be better to come here? Okay, first squad, it's they are almost here. Uh, yeah, they are full on stamina. Oh yeah, let's go and deploy them. Uh, too many to count. You receive a report from one of your soldiers. It is intelligence he is obtained when chatting to local while the train was making a stop. The report claim, claims the Red have a large camp where they are 
training newly enlisted soldiers. Apparently, many are queuing for hours in order to join up. The report concludes, they promised the farmers a helping hand from the military to tend their farms, but there are so few people left to work because of the war. It's letting the food on, rot on the field or, join the, or joining it's letting the food rot on the field or joining the reds. At the very end of the report, an approximate camp located a approximate camp location <clears throat> so I have a new quest too many to count send a squad to the red to the reds military camp what's going on in the station there is a pub here train composition and a merchant okay this merchant was selling weapons I think I have the ones I need, but something yeah, something that I noticed uh, when I was trying the demo is most of the weapons have the same range. And they are like different type of weapons, like I don't think the Nagat revolver should have the same reach as a sniper rifle at least the, the times between shots and uh, melee damage is also included with the statistics of these weapons yeah, I think I have everything that I need at the moment <clears throat> so let's wait these guys uh, to return Okay, that was an interesting one. Uh, scratching, scratching head and more. As you are reading through reports, you notice a blood stain on one of the papers. You look to see where it came from and you notice blood behind your fingernails. It is you. You have been scratching yourself for a few hours now. You soldiers, you discover a rash on your hands, armpits and hips. A doctor is ushered in. Uh, scribe scabies major, there is a little chance of getting rid of the scabies given our situation. Is there anything we can do about it? So we can scrap the train and everything in it. We can burn our clothes and anything that can be spread or we will endure it. I think last time I uh, got tried the scrub the train. I got a little bit of morale but not much of healing. Maybe I should try now burn clothes and anything that can be spared and see what this will make of the situation. The train stops and everything redundant is fetched out. Big piles of clothing, bed sheets, and extra textile. Soldiers share mournful looks and then with heavy hearts set their possession on fire. As the flame as the flames warm the soldier somber faces, everyone just stands there in serene silence. Then someone breaks into song. There is there in the middle of enemy territory, far from home, around pieces of your own lives set afire, you and your soldiers find a moment of peace. A mine of five quarts, and everyone got, gets 25 morale, but they lose 16 health. It's not as bad could have been worse and I think most of the people will be now in better moral conditions uh, 
Ooh, unfortunately, we got the uncomfortable living traits. Living spaces in living spaces in this card do not provide health and morale recovery. Ooh, that's very bad. Stop the train and remove status by repair. Okay, I know what I'm doing. Going to be doing. <laughs> Okay. Uh, 30 wood and 10 quad. Okay. Mm. Camilla and Joseph and Million. Yeah, I'll assign him uh, to the squad again. Who else? Uh, Peter. Yeah, you too. Okay, I need be needing one hour to do that. So I think by the time the other guys return, I'll be repair. I'll be repairing. I'll be removed. I would have removed this uh, debuff. Hmm. Okay, this one now. Better. Yeah, better. Camilla. Uh, Maximilian. And Joseph. Yep. Okay, what's going on here? Let's explore. One hour to explore. Hey, what's going on here now? A report major. We went through the place. It was empty as it looked from afar. But the owners left behind some things we could use. Here's what we found. There was a smithy and plenty of good metal can be used. I reckon it was too heavy to pack, so they left it behind. Ooh, th 9 fuel, 33 metal. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, come back home. And the uncomfortable living was removed from all the from all the cars. Uh, second squad. Let's get better and Maximilian. Back in the squad. Okay, why is... Okay, he, because he is uh, resting, he is not working. I can assign him to, assign him to the squad. Uh, yeah, let's wait for these guys. Okay, so the morale is not bad.
Oh, okay. I should have sent somebody to the forest. Can add to that. Uh, second squad, you should go to the forest. Yeah, that was my mistake. Yeah, we could have found, we could have used the time, at least part of the time between uh, repairing and the first squad returning to travel. Okay, explore the area. Okay, it is immediate. Report major, we searched the area and gathered what was uh, usable. Oh, because he is smart. Okay, Maximilian has knowledge, but there was nothing to find here. Okay, um, situation was affected because Antonin as the herbalist trait. Antonin Kura also found some herbs. So 15 food and 29 herbs because of Antonin. That's good. Okay, come back. going on I'm just gonna snooze for a bit okay he is tired don't worry you'll be uh, almost at home okay everyone is back on the train so there is a um, pop here and that can restore a lot of morale and I'm thinking I might use it but unfortunately it's a very expensive uh, it's a very expensive way to get morale so let's see how good are my guys Okay, they are gaining morale, only Alfred is losing it because he is still ill, but he has uh, just under an hour uh, to be ill, and after that he will be okay, and he will be starting gaining morale again. The others, the others are gaining morale. Mm, not sure should I use this um, situation because I don't know what's going on in Riznik. No, not Riznik. Yas Rask. Not sure how the exact pronunciation of this guy, this town is. It looks like a big town, and I'm guessing that there might be something good here and I'm not sure that I have to spend my um, uh, money to gain morale here maybe at a later part of the game but yeah I'm still not sure I have to think about it and because I have to think about I'm saying I'll have to think about it and I'll decide tomorrow Unfortunately, this will be a short stream. I wasn't expecting 
I turn to Moria to uh, take so much time, and that's why that's why um, uh, last train home has such a short stream. Uh, yeah, um, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, tomorrow I'll be continuing with Last Train Home and I'll continue playing Last, Ho Last Train Home until the 6th of December I'm sure about that uh, on the 6th there is a DLC that will be coming out for I think one of the better games that I played this year I will buy it and I will check it out what brings to the game I will check it out off stream and decide uh, if I will be streaming it uh, from what I read it brings around 6 or 7 hours of gameplay so this will be like two short streams or one very long, very, very long one. Uh, on the seventh, a game that I am really excited about. It's coming out, and uh, I think I'll be switching most of my attention on her, and I'll decide how exactly my streams will go from there um, yeah this is the plan for December um, again thank you for being here most of my all of my streams are uploaded on my youtube channel you can go and check them out there um, I wish you a good night and I hope to see you in the next stream.